partnered by Times Influence. Hello and welcome to India's Finest Workplaces, a special series where we feature the ideal places to work at in India. Now this week we bring to you a dominant player in the real estate sector. Established in 1986, Brigade Group is one of India's leading property developers. Headquartered in Bengaluru with branches spread across various cities down south and a representative office in Dubai, Brigade has built over 20 million square feet of development in three decades since its inception with forays into residential, commercial, hospitality and education. On this episode, we find out more about the company's work culture and their best practices and also about why Brigade Group is one of India's finest workplaces. With over 4,000 employees across the group, the organization works as one big happy family, taking it to newer heights every year. Mr. M. R. Jay Shankar is a first-generation entrepreneur who started this company from scratch. Ever since its inception, the Brigade Group has expanded rapidly. So let's find out a little bit more about his journey as well as the role of the workforce in the company's success. Uh, Mr. Jay Shankar, welcome to India's finest workplaces. Sir, Thank to you. begin with, could yeah. you tell me a little bit about the Brigade Group and its legacy? I don't have much legacy because I started the company. Yes. And uh, as a background, I come from a coffee plantation family mm -hmm. from Chikmagalur, which is yes. known for uh, coffee. Having come from a business uh, background family, mm -hmm. so my family wanted me to start some business. Mm -hmm. So I did start uh, a coffee chicory uh, processing uh, okay. uh, unit in Bangalore in the industry, Pinya Industrial Estate mm -hmm. for about uh, four years. Mm -hmm. So the industrial relations problem in uh, 84 mm -hmm. uh, made me uh, decide uh, to diversify into something else. Yes, yes. So after some study, I, sa I said, why not real estate? So the, the, that's how we started our first project in uh, 86, end 86. Mm -hmm. So we started with an office uh, b building called Brigade Towers right. on Brigade Road. Mm -hmm. And that's how the company got named as uh, Brigade Investments. So okay. at one time we had the address of uh, Brigade Investments, Brigade Towers, Brigade Road, Bangalore. <laughs> so nobody could miss the address. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> so, but, you know, the, in these initial years yeah. when the company was growing, yeah. there were fewer employees and then they started expanding. You've been an integral part of the yeah. transformation of the company. I'd like you to focus on the HR part of it because a company is as strong as its employees are. As the employees grew, uh, how were you able to transform the employees' thought process to kind of get them onto the same path so that which has led to the growth of the group? So having started as a one project mm -hmm. company, my interaction with the staff uh, was uh, very close mm -hmm. and as a small uh, de development to begin with. <coughs> right. And uh, you know from the beginning I would say the importance whether we were uh, 10 people or 100 people or more or uh, today you know, as a group, we are uh, nearly 4,000 people across uh, various, uh, uh, you mm -hmm. know, functions. Mm -hmm. So, it has always been uh, the welfare of uh, staff was, uh, uh, you know, primary on uh, mind. Right, right. And uh, th I think that is what has uh, mm -hmm. given us the recognition as uh, mm -hmm. one of the best places to work, I would say. Right. So, when you talk about the employees, now, like you said, it's been a fantastic journey yeah, over the years, yeah. the group has grown, the workload has increased, yeah, yeah. but the employees have been able to manage their work-life balance. So, shed some more light on that. How do you think the group has helped them manage this work-life balance? I would say there is a number of training for mm. programs uh, for the uh, staff, whether connected with work-life balance or mm. enhancing their uh, uh, own ability or to yes. improve their knowledge in various aspects, uh, whether it's in change management, whether it's in uh, having a one-to-one -one, uh, helpline in mm -hmm. case uh, they, they need any help, not connected with work, mm -hmm. uh, whether connected with family, connected right. with the st work stress, mm -hmm. connected with anything else. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, professionals uh, giving that help. On that note, let's go over to some of the employees and hear from them about their work-life balance yeah. here at the Brigade Group. 
I think uh, a very special quality about Brigade is that it tries to be a very authentic firm. And a lot of that comes from our chairman, uh, Mr. Jay Shankar, directly. Uh, he is very authentic in his dealings, uh, not just with customers in, in terms of what they're getting, but also all our partners, associates. And that definitely translates to employees as well. Uh, so historically, he, it's always been sort of an open door policy where he's very accessible in terms of uh, our employees feeling like they can reach out to the highest levels of management and give feedback on what's working, maybe not what, what's not working, and how to improve upon those things. Brigade Group is like a huge family. It's actually an extension of my family. Um, it has been so easy for me to find a hard work, good life kind of balance. Uh, it's never made me feel that uh, I am the sole contributor. It makes me feel that I belong to the family and the family gives back so much. I have grown with this company actually. This company has evol evolved me how to become a manager. Earlier I was an individual performer and then, I, then I'm now handling a project which is you can see that it's a 130 acres project which is a huge in numbers. So moving on, can you talk to us a little bit about employee development uh, programs that yeah. are because I think that is what is kind of setting the brigade group apart yeah, to help yeah. grow that and nurture that talent in the group. Yeah. Considering the way the uh, you know, the country or the life is changing uh, so fast. A couple of years back, we introduced a change management initiative mm -hmm. called Sampurna Parivartan. That had uh, quite a, a bit of positive impact. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, you know, that, that uh, initiative ne needs to get a b much bigger uh, right. support across the organization which will happen uh, very soon in my opinion. Superb. So on that note, sir, let's go over to some of the employees and hear from them on some of these uh, career growth opportunities yeah. here at the Brigade Group. The company is a very close-knit company. People are very warm. The CMD himself welcomes each and every newcomer. So it, it, it is not any other company that you go shake hands with CMD, you know. So it was very nice, very warm welcome the first day. Uh, we got a lot of motivational speakers uh, coming to, you know, boost our morale, uh, to show which, what is good in us and what, what is, you know, where are the areas we should work on. We have one of the best training processes in the industry, particularly the structured te technical training program for the graduate engineer trainees. It's one of the best. All of these have not, uh, it's not been taken from someplace, it's all evolved over a few years and uh, I'm proud to say it's one of the best we have in the industry today. During this entire journey, we have always remembered that the central focus of our growth should be our employees. So whatever we do, the overarching uh, uh, direction we take is how well do we engage our employees in achieving our goals. So this is a very key aspect of our business and, and there is nothing more than an engaged employee for the successful growth of a company and it's paid off very well for us. Mr. Jayashankar, could you tell me a little bit about the employee engagement initiatives that are in place here? Uh, so we also have a staff welfare manager mm -hmm. who visits uh, all the project sites and uh, different branches mm -hmm. to understand uh, the employee's concerns right. and to give clarifications and to support them in whatever they need. Mm -hmm. um, Brigade has also initiated uh, a chair in IIT Chennai uh, yeah. to for, you know, for find solutions for affordable housing. So as part of that, uh, uh, you know, we generally one of our uh, candidates, one of our staff mm. are also encouraged uh, or given some kind of a preference uh, to, to get uh, admission mm. for a post-graduation at IIT Chennai. Right. So which is a very significant thing and the people uh, who come out of it, mm -hmm. uh, they are extremely pleased. Thank you so much for talking to us, Mr. Jay Shankar. It's been an absolute pleasure and all our best wishes for the way ahead. My pleasure too. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. It's time for a very short break. Don't go anywhere. On the other side, we speak to the head of HR and admin at the Brigade Group. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to India's finest workplaces. It's now time to meet the main pillar of strength that ensures that employees are happy and motivated. To achieve the desired goals, every organization requires an efficient, well-trained and highly motivated workforce. Brigade has created a can-do team by facilitating empowerment and providing a vast canvas for innovative performance and rapid career growth at all levels. I'm now joined by Mr. W.P. Jagan Mohan. He's the Senior Vice President HR and Admin at Brigade Group. Hello, sir. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Uh, sir, first tell me about some of the HR practices that are in place here at Brigade Group, which, you know, uh, delight employees also. We are a very diversified organization. 20% of my hmm. strength are women employees. Lovely. And here uh, we give a lot of importance for our chairman mandate for mm -hmm. us is over a period of time, we should increase it to 30%. And uh, we ensure all efforts are done to give a provide a safe working environment for all the women employees. As far as the best other best practices, what we talk mm -hmm. about is we re reward and recognize people. We have a, something known as a star policy, mm -hmm. special thanks, appreciation, and rewards. That's the acronym for mm -hmm. that. We have uh, another uh, best practices we have. Only I can say, proud to say, in the real estate space, we have been successfully rolling out was the ESOP, employee stop option. Yes. Purpose of this is for retention and wealth creation. Can you tell me a little bit about the efforts that are being taken at the group to develop key talent into leadership roles? There is a dearth of skilled talent. What they learn in colleges is more on theory. Yes. Here we teach them with the help of experts <coughs> from the field. Mm -hmm on the application of the knowledge what they have learned of course. and combine it with the on-the-job training mm -hmm. and uh, that way we nurture uh, the people mm -hmm. and give them opportunity to work in all the segments mm -hmm. over a period of time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, that's how uh, we uh, create the leadership pipeline. On that note Mr. Jagan, we'll just go over to some of your employees who benefited from these programs. Let's listen in. Every organization has its own challenges, has its own problems. Brigade is the kind of company that encourages you to identify and solve these problems even if they're not within your scope of work. The training was fantastic. We had five days of training and we had Ian Faria coming and motivating us. Then all sort of training was excellent. The training started at nine o'clock. We didn't know it's almost six o'clock. We still in that the energy we had in morning nine o'clock, the energy is still there at six o'clock. The only thing which changes like we came to know ourselves, like what skills we have, then how we can utilize it in this industry. The, even the concept of this morning prayer meeting gives an opportunity for all of us to really actually greet each other. More important than prayer is to greet each other, get together as a team for maybe 5-10 minutes and acknowledge and recognize people whose birthdays are there on that day or people who have finished their uh, X number of years, maybe 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. How does Brigade Group uh, provide some other lovely benefits to employees that keeps them engaged, uh, makes them feel like they're part of one family rather than it's just a job. We celebrated uh, 30th year uh, anniversary celebrations. Mm -hmm. That is an, a very eventful uh, celebration. So chairman uh, said uh, people who have been with us, mm -hmm. uh, we in HR and admin team worked out a proposal and approached chairman. We said uh, sir we will classify uh, people mm -hmm. based on years of tenure of service with the organization. So 15 plus years and above they were sent to Hong Kong on a uh, four day and three night trip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10 up to 10 years mm -hmm. were sent on a uh, Sri Lanka and uh, below 5 years and below was sent on a trip to similar days 4 days and 3 nights to Goa. Lovely. Around 400 plus people across the group company mm -hmm. were sent on this trip mm -hmm. just to make people feel and thank them for their contribution over a period of time. This Lovely. is one initiative. Of course we have other uh, many other welfare schemes mm -hmm. like we have our annual health checkups where we are very particular uh, employee takes care of his uh, mm -hmm. health. Mm -hmm. So based on the uh, year wise we have tied up in uh, established hospitals. We under, uh, help people to go take care of their health part of it. Lovely. Well on that note let's hear from some of the employees and hear what they have to say about their workplace. I have, have uh, had two boys working in Brigade Group and it's been such a smooth transition from being a, a being pregnant to delivering and then rejoining work. So I have done this twice over in Brigade Group because of the way it has helped me and how supportive the office and even our uh, team is here. 
um, you won't believe every day during my pregnancy, I would get one calcium tablet and one protein biscuit on my table kept. So that was the way they actually responded to the mothers to be. We don't have the fear of committing mistakes because we have, uh, you know, our superheroes to back us up. And this really gives us the confidence to take our organization name very confidently to the market. And the moment you introduce yourself that you are from the Brigade Group, the way the other person looks up at you itself gives you an experience which is very alive. I'm now in conversation with the Executive Director of Brigade Enterprises, Nirupa Shankar. Hi Nirupa, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for being here. Uh, take me back to what does it take to build a brand like the Brigade Group? So I think a brand like Brigade, which has been in business for mm. 30 plus years, the culture kind of stems down from the founder right. and our chairman, Mr. Uh, Jay Shankar. For us, we strongly believe that if your employees are happy, then they go yeah. the extra mile to make your customers happy. Of course, mm -hmm. the end objective is to have happy customers, mm -hmm. but employees play a huge part in that role. And mm -hmm. we believe that, you know, if you support your employees through their tough times, mm -hmm. then they will go through that extra mile to mm -hmm. support the organization in its tough times. So. Right. There's a huge focus on human resource uh, strategy mm -hmm. and what we can do to retain our talent, what we can do to keep our employees engaged. And, you know, every year there's a lot of thought mm -hmm. that goes behind how we, how we ensure that our employees are happy, keep their mm -hmm. confidence levels high and keep their morals high. So tell me a little bit about this, the work culture at the Brigade Group, which stems from all these things. Obviously, you want to make the workplace a happy place. I yeah. mean, people spend so much of their time mm -hmm. in the office. You want to make sure that the atmosphere, that the vibes in the office is positive. Mm -hmm. And I also strongly believe that, you know, you need to figure out what a person's strengths are. So if yes. you figure out, okay, what is a person's strength? What does he enjoy? What is he good at? And you try to fit that within the organization's requirements. You mm -hmm. make that person happy. They're able to perform at their peak. And then that impacts the overall organization's performance. Super. And how do you uh, imbibe the core values through the group? So our directive is QC first, mm -hmm. uh, and that's our core value. So sure. QC is quality and customer first. Right. Uh, quality obviously is of paramount <coughs> importance mm -hmm. to our customers. Customer centricity has to drive everything that we do. We yes. need to make sure that our customers are eventually happy. Mm -hmm. And of course, the first stands for fairness, fairness beat towards how you deal with your employees or your vendors or whoever you come in contact with. Mm -hmm. The I stands for innovation, so innovation in our products and processes. Mm -hmm. RS stands for responsible socially. So we right. like to make sure we create a positive impact in the communities we operate in. Uh, because it's very important, you know, create, you know, mm -hmm. especially in a city like ours, you know, you create a large uh, project, you mm -hmm. want to make sure that you're also improving the environment. Sure. So we like to create parks, we like to redevelop lakes, we like to make it easier for the community around mm -hmm. the project as well. And of course, the last is trustworthiness, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because again, that's important for customers who are putting their life savings with you, yes. um, or for your employees mm -hmm. who de who's, uh, and earnings yeah, depend yeah. on the company. So trustworthiness is paramount important. Now the real estate sector is not exactly famous for having a lot of women in the work, in the workforce, but Brigade Group is kind of breaking this uh, stereotype, yeah. so to say, and you have a special uh, team that's all women team that's working on a project. Could you shed some more light on that? Yeah, we like to encourage uh, women in the workforce. I think Brigade is probably the only real estate company with probably two second generation hmm. uh, women, right. you know, driving the business in its core operations. Um, and we ha also have four women on our board of directors, which hmm. is not normal, a 40% representation of women hmm. on a board uh, of a company that is public listed is not very common. And uh, there's a specific project also I'd like you to shed some more light on where there are a lot of women uh, working in that project. So yeah. tell me a little bit about that. So uh, that's called the Arcade at Brigade Orchards. <coughs> mm -hmm. So everything in that project was done um, by women. So from Lovely. the conceptualization, we had our design, an architect, a design, uh, part of the design development team. So mm -hmm. she was heading the architectural part of it. Then we had the legal team figuring out all the legalities for the land. Uh, we have a lot of uh, women civil engineers and the interior mm -hmm. team is also women oriented. Mm -hmm. So it's completely done by women. And, you know, we also track the performance and, mm -hmm. the perfor the, you know, the project has been mm -hmm. coming up very well and it's on time, perhaps even ahead of schedule. So <laughs> it's just a little motivation boost to the women in the company as Super. well. Super. Well, on that note, let's go over and hear from the team of ladies that is determined to change the tide in the real estate sector. People talk about like, uh, women enforcement or like you know you encouraging women and everything 
but in brigade our cmd has put it across like made it practical and then uh, made it uh, mandatory that you know all women project should be there and though it is a huge project and then difficult project he had the trust in us and then it's like you know all the engineers and then the architects lizen team everybody is women i think with this project we've broken a myth that it is a male dominant sector uh, sector we can uh, as women engineers also can uh, you know dominate well and uh, do uh, good uh, work here we are ahead of the schedule and uh, yes probably in another the 3 4 months the project is getting completed and i'm sure in this area this is going to stand as a landmark here it is a you know it's a commercial project which is going to be as a retail and office spaces so yes it is a landmark project and yes we are pretty happy about where we stand today well fantastic nirupa it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you so much and all the very best for the way ahead and the brigade group thank, thank you, you so much for being here thank you to achieve an equilibrium between work and personal life is the only mantra to success brigade group ensures that its employees are balancing both parts perfectly by providing them training and consultation on a regular basis helping employees lead a stress free life actually i've been in brigade group for past 8 years which actually shows how i have been able to balance work and life even now being a mother i'll be like how best can i do what best can i give to the kids and how is it going to help them in the long run so all that is always there just to, uh, because of this work life balance i've been very content i've been working it's not one of those breaks which people take and don't rejoin so for me it has been so helpful that i've continued with two boys i have continued working all that so i think that's the best part of working in brigade along with providing a host of leisure options the company also rewards its employees with overseas leisure trips to boost their morale and create a bonding among the teams so it's a company that uh, very truly rewards uh, uh, good performance it's a company that recognizes uh, and keeps an eye out actually for uh, superstars for people who like what they're doing people who enjoy what they're doing well that's all on this episode of india's finest workplaces but we'll be back next week with another inspiring workspace until then from the entire team many thanks for watching the company is headed in the right way with a very stable outlook for the future for any fresher who wants to learn something new or gain a very good experience at the beginning of their career brigade is the place to be they would not have been a better company than brigade i think that was the best option and the best choice i've made in my life 23 years i'm working out of the 13 years is uh, i have spent here in this organization so it shows that how safe and how comfortable i am in this organization it's a an organization where you can come in and live and work for the rest of your life it's a great place to be in i'm really fond of uh, being here Partner by Times Influence.